welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow Foxing Supremo Mark Ripley as he takes us through his top 10 best ever Fox shots. One of the great things about video and your shooting is that you get to relive those moments over again. So when the guys from the shooting show asked if I could put together my top 10 favourite long range foxing shots, then uh, I've got to be honest, I sat for ages going all through these and just reliving all those, all those outings over again. I've managed to whittle it down to my top 10 favourites. Um, you can see the rest of the full length videos on my channel, 260 Rips. Uh, or one or two of them have also come from previous episodes of the shooting show. So uh, we'll get straight in with um, number 10, see what you think. So for this first clip, I've picked a previous episode from the shooting show in which I'm testing the XM50 Thermium Thermal Rifle Scope. I found the fox that's laid out in the dip in the field, but he's out of 200 yards and the only thing I can see is his head. Okay, so that might not have been my longest shot, but at 200 yards at night using the thermal scope, shooting off a tripod and taking a headshot, I was quite happy with that. For the ninth place, uh, I've picked um, uh, another uh, 200 yard shot, this time in the daytime. I've uh, sat out early morning and waited for a fox to come along. He's come along, I've given him a shout and he's stopped, but unfortunately he stopped with a post across his chest. Let's have a look see what happens. So for this next clip, again, it was an early morning shot. Um, this fox was at 260 yards. I bumped into him just crossing the valley. Let's have a look at this one. I remember this next clip very well. I've been sat out for ages on a, on a cold morning waiting for this particular fox. This fox had taken pheasant poults from a, a nearby pen in a wood and um, I was lucky enough to catch him out on the bank. Let's have a look.
So that fox was out of 293 yards. The next one was actually shot very close to that, not more than a couple of hundred yards away from where that last one was shot. Uh, this next one was shot 340 yards. It was a lovely sunny summer's morning and this fox came out to sit in the sun. So this fox is uh, another long range one, um, this is at 421 yards and uh, again it's taken from a previous episode of the shooting show where I'm uh, out first thing in the morning after uh, foxes just before the lambing season. So this next one has to be one of the rarest and flukiest um, fox sessions I've ever had. This is uh, entitled um, Long Range Bonus Fox and uh, you'll see why when you watch the video. Oh, okay, we've got a rabbit out here. Is it 451 metres? Just sitting there in the middle of the screen, just south, just in the edge of that shadow. Right. Put some info into the kestrel and see what, uh, what we need. Well, that was a bit of a result. Don't get that out happen very often. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't expect that this morning. Not quite where that fox come from. But uh, I just happened to be dialed in on that rabbit that I just shot just up there. And lo and behold, Charlie appeared. That fox was. Uh, 450 metres. So now we're really starting to stretch the ranges out. This next fox is at 536 yards. Now bear in mind I use a 260 Remington which is a custom rifle. I'm also using hand loaded 143 grain ELDX bullets. Um, I've got the ballistics to these worked out to a, a, a pretty fine art. 
Um, I'm also using a night force um, scope which I uh, can dial in very accurately with so um, all these shots are, are carefully ranged and then um, all the environmental conditions are all taken in and factored into these shots so uh, I hope you enjoy the clip So we're getting to the last couple of clips now. This next one is at 670 yards and uh, it's one of my, uh, certainly one of my longer shots on a Fox. Um, this one again was uh, a nice sort of um, spring or summer morning and I just spotted this Fox milling around out on the bank. Um, I was able to take the time to dial it in and um, again the wind conditions were favourable and uh, it just all came together and um, Drop the fox in the hole, as you'll see. So, for my uh, last piece de la resistance uh, at number one is a fox at 860 yards um, this is the furthest fox that i've shot um, in fact i actually shot two that morning but um, both at the same distance but i only managed to get one on video because as it happened i was recording one and shot the other one so <laughs> um, i managed to uh, get the second one on video which is the one I'm going to show you so uh, I hope you enjoy it Well, that was my top 10 long range foxing clips. Um, if you want to see more of that sort of content, then have a look at the channel, uh, 260 Rips, or you can also read about my exploits in Sporting Rifle Magazine. Thanks for watching. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.